You are such an asshole! Hey everybody, the old captain here. We're uh, finally catching up. No, oh, oop. There we go. And this is a short and sweet one because this man is a pretty good man. He's there's not much, uh, not much to say. Well, there's a lot to say about him, but in terms of the Clary test, there isn't really much. But anyway, Clary test. If you don't know, <clears throat> it is the best test, the most recent advance in political science. I'm not joking. Uh, the greatest advancement that has ever been achieved in the past 30 years of political science, and the test that I came up with. Uh, and it's used to test politicians, wannabe politicians, statesmen, uh, statesmen, and uh, also a pretty good test for friends. Basically, it's a, a four-question test you ask of anyone uh, if they want to lead you or be in part of your life. And so the questions are, one, do you come from money? Are your parents rich? Two, did you major in stupid shit? Three, do you have any private, real world, uh, ex uh, private sector real-world experience? And four, what are you doing now? Okay, so uh, our client, he want to know, hey Aaron, how much for a Clary test on General James Mad Dog Mattis? And uh, uh, regards, Irwin. Irwin, thank you very much. And uh, James Mattis, or General Mattis, uh, I guess is officially uh, the title. He is now the Secretary of Defense. Now, bef I'm, I, did, I, I, didn't, I haven't paid attention to politics that much because I dropped out. I'm, I'm, I don't know anything about it. But I looked at who he's replacing, Ash Carter. Look up that fucking little pussy. So we got a fucking Marine General now who has quite an impressive uh, track record. And then look at the little piece of shit girly girl he just replaced. This this fucking academic piece of shit. I'll put a post of their two Wikipedia um, uh, profiles up. But, I mean, <clears throat> the contrast between the pussies that voted for, dominated, and were employed by the Obama administration, and the men with a real fucking dick between their legs. It's just, <laughs> anyway. So uh, let's look at James Mathis. Remember, you want a low score. Uh, if you have rich parents, you get a point. If you have a stupid degree, you get a point. Blah, blah, blah. So it's like golf, you want a low score. Um, James N. Mattis, 1950, retired United States Marine Corps General, who will be the United States Secretary of Defense. Imagine that, hiring a military man to be in part of the Secretary of Defense. I didn't know we became like Europe. Remember that picture where it's like German, Sweden, uh, Denmark, and it showed their defense ministers. It's all a bunch of fucking broads, and, and it's like, oh my god. And then they show the Russian defense minister. He's this like burly, mean ass looking motherfucking military man. It's like, yeah, that's why you need the United States to protect your ass. We had one of those little fucking pussies, that, except there was a guy, Ash Carter. Look him up. Um, da, 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 da. He previously served as the 11th Command of the United States Central Command, the United States Combatant Command, responsible for American blah, blah, blah. Gummy, 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 gummy. So he is very accomplished. He's um, a career military man. So we, the even though it is public sector technically, you get a waiver or whatever if you're in the military, police, or firefighters because that's a real fucking job. Even though it's private sector or public sector, it's a so, uh, he, uh, zero points for working a real job his entire life, zero points for being a retired Marine. Um, I know he's pulled into politics, but uh, I will forgive someone who did their life working a real job and then as a true selfless statesman wanted to serve their country more than what he already did. So he does get a point for work in the public sector. He gets an exemption from that. So it's, did he come from money? And uh, what did he major in? Mathis was born in 1950 in Pullman, Washington. His mother's name is Lucille. His father, John, worked as a merchant mariner, and his mother had worked as an army in, worked in Army Intelligence of South Africa during the Second World War. Okay, so he was born right after that. He was raised in Richland, Washington, and graduated Columbia High School. He earned a BA in history from Central Washington University. All right, so he in 1971. All right, so here's the deal. He has a worthless degree. Normally, I give you one full point for that. But in the olden days, any degree actually was a good degree. And that was a rare, rarer accomplishment. So I'm only going to give him half. It was a pretty worthless degree. Eh, let's give him three quarters. I'm going to give him three quarters of a, of a point there. And he did not come from money. So General uh, uh, James Mattis, he, uh, he only has a .75. And that's a very good score on the Clary test. Uh, so that's good. Ash Carter? Fucking hell. Like, it, the story here of this 
of this video is not what a great Secretary of Defense we got uh, the, the, that the American people have. It's the fucking pussy that was behind him, and it just tells you everything you need to know about Barack Obama and you goddamn leftist pieces of shit. I mean, like, you're going to hire a goddamn academia in this fucking, I have a PhD in physics. <laughs> anyway, yeah, be happy. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Glad we got him as Secretary of Defense. Anyway, best of luck to all of you. Toodles.